morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Grab your cup. Let's get settled in because we've got a lot to talk about today. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to talk about removing blocks and because this is a really important time. A lot of you are staying in. You're quarantined, uh, especially if you're by yourself or if you're only with your family. Uh, your stories are going to come up, right? What are your blocks? And they're going to come up. They're going to be ever present. So more than ever, we have to work on removing them. How do we dissolve and remove the blocks and the thought patterns that continue a cycle for us, right? As I get my coffee. <laughs> All right, so as you, you know, again, so you may be stuck in, maybe you're not working, maybe you're taking care of the kids, maybe you're looking at your life, wondering what are you going to do at this point, maybe you're stressed out, but the thing is this, if you carry blocks, and, and blocks definitely are these thoughts and concepts and belief systems that we repeat to ourselves, okay? So it's a thought, uh, a, a belief, it's a story that you tell yourself. And you may continuously tell yourself because there's a part of the ego that needs to justify it. There's a part of the ego that needs to make it right. However, your higher self, the subconscious self, needs to work on removing the block, removing it, because normally a block is a negative thought pattern. <laughs> It's a negative belief. It's a negative thought pattern. And it's one that may have been taught to you, okay? So this is easily something that could have been taught to you as a child or an experience uh, that, that you had may have given it to you or brought it into your belief or your story. But these blocks that we have, they don't move us forward, okay? So your block won't move you forward. It really will paralyze you. It will hold you still because it creates stress, right? So that negative thought meaning this, let me give you an example. Let's say you're not able to work at the moment. So you're saying, oh my goodness, there's nothing I can do. I'm stuck. I can't do anything rather than being solution oriented. The block you tell yourself is that whatever it is you're doing, you're tied to it and you don't have any other choice. And then when someone tries to give you an option, you repeat your block. You make an excuse as to why that block must be true. So as you have this time alone, all right, as you work on this, this is a great time to dissolve those negative blocks, those thought patterns, those cycles, anything that you feel is helping you repeat the cycle rather than move through it, rather than have that progression. And all of us do have a block somewhere in our life, in some area, whether that's your finances, your relationship, your career, self-confidence, anything. We At some point, we, we all do have a block that holds us back. Hi, everybody. Nice to see everybody coming in. Hello, hello, hello. So, you know, what this is, is an opportunity for you to look at where is your thought pattern and does that thought pattern move you forward or does it keep you stuck in order to justify what it needs to be? So now here's the other thing. This isn't all on you. For instance, uh, you may not have an understanding as to what else you could do. You don't have an understanding as what other opportunities could be presented to you. That's when your imagination has to come into play. That's when you really have to say, yes, I've been doing this. Yes, I understand this is the track I've been on. But how do I move outside of that? What else could I be doing? What else am I good at? What other hobbies do I have? Or did I used to have and haven't had in a while? So understanding that you do have choices. We think we don't because we tell ourselves we don't. We think there's nothing we can do when there's always something you can be doing. Always, honestly. And it's just about getting real with yourself and not creating the excuses. And again, working on that stress of those blocks. So how do we remove the blocks? I can say, hey, go remove them. <laughs> 
get out there and remove your blocks, everybody. Uh, but you also need to say, well, yeah, Colbs, how? How, mama, how? Well, a couple things that really do help. One is to take yourself back to where did that thought or belief system come into reality for you? At what point did you create that? At what point was it instilled on you? Was it instilled in childhood? Was it something your parents said or something you heard in school? Was it something a teacher said? Was it an ex-partner or a relationship you had been in? Was it your own insecurities that kind of got that green-eyed monster within yourself? What was it, okay? So going back to the point in which you, the first memory you have of having that thought and then taking yourself into a meditation where your adult self, right? The adult self talks to the person at that age. And as a person now, as an adult now, knowing what you know now, what would you tell that young self? What would you say? And doing that will absolutely help. Absolutely get there. Okay. Um, and that's one thing that we can do, all right? So, and then the other thing that you can do is not buy into the negativity of other people. See, t people, you know, people who um, aren't really solution-oriented will tend to marinate in the miserableness. They'll tend to marinate in the negativity or they'll tend to bring it in. And one thing you can do is hold your vibration high so that you don't absorb that, so you, that you don't become impacted by it. You know, so whether that's uh, turning your mirrors out, as we like to say, you know, you're imagining your hands as mirrors and you turn them out so that w someone else's thoughts, someone else's actions, someone else's emotions can't impact you. That's something that you can do, but it really comes down to owning who you are, owning and trusting your all-knowing self, that higher self. Perhaps automatic writing is a really great opportunity to reconnect with that higher self and your guides. So what is automatic writing? Automatic writing is an opportunity. You set an intention. I like to set an intention. Uh, what would you like me to know about my gift? Or what can I do to get through these troubled times? Or how can I send healing to others during these difficult times? How can I understand my own path? Whatever it is for you, okay? You set that intention. And you can either play a song, a song that won't be distracting, or you just sit in silence, but you just allow yourself to write. Now, the important thing is if you pause in the writing, that's your ego getting in. You have to remember that, right? Your ego will try to get in. So that's why I tend to like a song myself, uh, something that's not distracting so that as the song plays, I just write. I don't stop writing. I don't think about them. I just keep going. When the song is over, I'm done. And you'll be amazed when you go and you read that back. You'll be amazed at what you see and what is on the paper because you know we, we are all meant to succeed we are all meant to be in our light to stand in our power to help others and to own who we are in the most positive way the most positive way you weren't put here to suffer you may have some experiences that um, perhaps you need to go through, but maybe those experiences are meant to help yourself or to help others or to have a deeper understanding of something. Um, or, or perhaps it's, it's, a, it's a tragic accident, whatever it is for you. But to not play the victim. Don't live your life in victim mode. You know, if you live your life in victim mode and you use these blocks to prevent you from growing, to prevent you from succeeding, you'll continuously perpetuate the lie that you believe to be the truth. Okay? Think about that. The lie that you believe to be the truth. And so when you find yourself in a predicament, when you find yourself in that negative thought pattern and you find yourself in despair or in sadness or in loneliness, right? How many people are lonely at this point in their life? When you find yourself in this space, 
That is the time to work on any blocks that may perpetuate those emotions that may be triggering you. All right, so a great time is when you feel triggered, acknowledge it, understand it, kind of catch it in the moment, right? When you catch it in the moment, you can say, hey, what caused this? Where did it come from? Why do I believe this? Why am I telling myself this is my truth? Why can it not have a different set of circumstances? Why can it not be different? And start allowing that imagination to help you work through that block, that story you're telling yourselves, okay? So there we go. Um, and this is just a wonderful way for us to not only live our fullest life, but your happiest one, your most joyful one, and your truthful one. The truthful one, the one that tells you, yes, you're a light. Yes, you're a beacon for others. Yes, you're here to help. And raise that vibration because it is endless within you. It truly is endless. You, you're not going to get tapped out or tired. Not if you hold your space and yet emit with love and light and power and source and that source from higher self, okay? So working on those blocks to create the success that you know is there for you. Sit down and be honest about it. Sit down and say, I've been perpetuating this. Somehow own your responsibility in it. That's the tough part, right? Because we don't want to blame ourselves. We want to blame others. <laughs> um, but we have the power to change. We have the power to create. We have the power to recreate. We have the power to change our course, to change our path, and to always do something even when we feel we can't, even when we feel paralyzed, even when we feel stuck. You're never stuck. You really aren't. You just might need a moment of clarity. So when you're feeling stuck, it could be that you're using those blocks or those thought patterns or the stress. So remember, those are the things that you have to work through. All right, those are the things that you have to get through and you have to do the work. You can't sit there and expect it to just go away, right? Do the work, do the work and I promise you, you'll get the results, all right? You'll really work through it, it's amazing. All right, everybody, that is your Coffee with Colby for today. Uh, listen, Thursday night, amazing. Listen, you're all stuck in anyway. The TV shows are stop uh, really having new episodes pretty soon. So why don't you come on over to my Facebook Live. I've got Lisa Williams on at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Lisa Williams will be on air with me. We're going to take callers. So you got to get through. You're getting first dibs. Uh, call in and let us answer your questions. That is Thursday night. Also, for all of you wonderful developing light workers out there, on April 8th, I have a workshop. It will be online. You will work your butt off for two hours. Sign up for it. The circle starts tonight, but that is sold out. My private mentoring is sold out. So I'm very, very grateful for all of you, and I really do appreciate it. But join in April 8th. Sign up. There's only a few spots left. All right. Lots of love. See you all. Remember to subscribe. Like the page so you don't miss these lives. <laughs> Lots of love, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Remember to shine your light and shine it bright. Bye, everyone.